welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. It's a semi nice day out here on a Sunday afternoon. I got some, it's pretty breezy, but it's uh, probably about 45 degrees. And uh, it's uh, late January, and I need to get these cold frame doors put onto our cold frame down there. Uh, we use the cold frame to harden off seedlings that will grow from seeds once they sprout indoors we'll put them into the cold frame out there and uh, that'll harden them off before you put them out into the elements so that we'll be using this early spring helps you get a little bit of early start on growing so the doors i had on there before were made out of two one by sandwich together and when we built the garden they got flopped over backwards and busted all up so i made these new ones and i used the whole two by four and just uh, cut a groove for this plexiglass or acrylic to fit into to make the door. And uh, I'll post a link to the video on that right here so you can go check that out if you wanna see how I built these. But uh, let's get down there and let's get started putting these things on. I'm going to uh, reuse the old hinges and all that. So hopefully I've got all the materials I need and we can get this done quickly. So let's get started. Okay, here's the setup we got going on. This is the cold frame right here with my shadow in it. <laughs> so it's got three, three doors here and it's got some good garden soil in there. So you can see that's the remains of one of the previous doors. So I gotta uh, get those hinges off of there. Uh, at least get that board off of there. And something that's cool in here that's that's growing. All these little uh, I don't know what those are called, but they're easy to pull up, and the chickens really like them. So putting these doors on here will warm it up in there, and those will grow even faster. So now to reclaim the hinges and get them mounted, and then we'll get the doors on there. Okay, let's walk over here where the uh, other doors are, the old ones, and get the screws out of them and the hinges. So you can see they're quite a mess. I set them here on this trailer. This is a uh, trailer is another project that uh, I got behind on. So. Uh, it's gonna be a beehive trailer, so I can transport hives to different locations and maybe follow some nectar flow around. Uh, my brother-in-law out in Western Oklahoma has a lot of good forage for bees out in his place and he offered to let me park it out there. But I didn't get it done. Okay. Got my uh, cordless drill out here gonna get started. So while I'm doing this, I'm gonna talk about uh, on a side note, uh, I was tagged by Bobblehead Homestead to talk about skills that I want to improve upon this year. So I thought about it a while, talked about it with Mrs. B Farm, and one of the things we want to improve on this year is uh, our ability to grow tomatoes because last year our tomatoes didn't do very well. Another skill is I want to improve on my honey production on the hives. So 
So last year was probably my best year producing honey. And I believe that was probably due in part to I didn't pull a lot of splits on my hives and try to expand them. There's a bee right there. So when you're splitting your hives, they have to build a lot of, of comb and that takes more energy and takes away from their honey production. So I believe that was a big contributor my first few years keeping bees. Ooh, I need some gloves because I was growing the size of my apiary, my bee yard. I wanted more hives, right? So I was expanding every year. Last year, I didn't do any intentional expansions. I did expansions through normal uh, swarms of the hives and I let them swarm and I would, uh, I captured a swarm, a couple of them, and when I saw a hive about to swarm, I would split that hive because that was naturally something they were doing on their own. It wasn't forced. So increase honey production. And the last skill I want to improve on is my ability to manage things and get things done. Uh, try and do things around the weather versus cry and complain about the weather and sit inside and not do anything. So, which I've got a good start on that already this year. So I think that is the three things I want, the skills that I want to improve upon. Uh, one uh, bonus skill is I want to improve on my skill of having a pond that holds water because my pond will fill up and then in two weeks it's empty. So I, mean, I got to do something with that. I don't know if that's a skill or something I need to do. Anyway, I'm going to tag two channels uh, if they're even watching uh, to do the same. So 50 chickens in a hen house, Alex. Uh, what skills do you want to improve upon this year? And I think he has more than 50 chickens. So check out Alex. And also, if he's watching, Ryan at A Little Dirt Never Hurt. He's probably sitting at home because he lives in Canada and he's, his whole house is covered with snow. And I'm going to start over because there's a stupid airplane. Okay, I had to stop because airplane flew over. So uh, the next channel I want to uh, tag on this challenge is uh, Ryan at A Little Dirt Never Hurt. So check out A Little Dirt Never Hurt. Pretty cool channel. Uh, I don't think he's put out a video in a while, so he probably needs something to do. Uh, it's This is an indoor video that he could do because uh, he lives in Canada and he's probably snowed in and he loves to garden, so he's probably going crazy wishing he had something he could do. So there you go, Ryan. Uh, you can make that video if you want and uh, you can sing and do all that, that cool stuff that you do. So anyway, that's my answer to the uh, tag from Bobblehead Homestead. Also check out Bobblehead Homestead. He's got a cool channel. Okay, I got my uh, hinges and I got a couple handles off of here and I'm probably gonna later come back and get these screws and this wood is probably going to go into the burn pile over there so let's uh, get over there and see if we can get uh, get these hinges mounted ah. okay let's see if we can get these hinges on here So I'm not going to put them in the exact same location they were because the woods tore up a little bit. Wind is out of the north. That's why the airplanes are flying over.
Okay, looks good. So uh, we still need to get our handles on here and a way to hold them up. So I'll probably just put a little bungee or something there on the fence to take care of that. Uh, so they can, you can work in here without it falling down on your head, which this one's probably about to fall any second because the wind's a little blowing out of the north there. But uh, anyway, uh, that's the end of the video. Probably shoot some B-roll here at the end, so don't uh, miss that. We'll catch you on the next one. Uh, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Pro, stop video. That is so cool. <laughs>